I can go ahead and get started. Cut up those peppers. Hey, so I told y'all that we were going to be doing the homemade stir fry. And here we are. So, you know, tonight is the night that I eat clean. And basically, at least once a week, I do stir fry. So, I have zucchini, yellow squash, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, snow peas, um, cauliflower, mushrooms, onions, and some chicken. Hey, honey. How you doing from Michigan? So we're going to just get started chopping up the onions. And then we're going to slice up the mushrooms. I like to cut the bottom bone. That onion is strong, y'all. I'm doing fine, honey. Just trying to get this dinner ready. So, y'all, today I accomplished what I wanted. Um, I'm trying not to cry because that onion is strong. Um, I got the smoothie video done, so that will be going up tonight sometime. And the video, um, whew, the oatmeal raisin cookie video is scheduled to go up in the morning at 6 o'clock. And then Friday, the Rice Krispie Treat video will go up. Y'all, my eyes is watering because of that onion. <laughs> and... Then I have a surprise for y'all. We're going to, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a first impressions on a product. My husband bought me my grill, y'all. So it's out in the garage, but I'm going to do a first impressions because you know, when I get something new, I like to like put it together and talk about it. And um, then on Saturday, we're going to do a live cooking show, honey. So listen, y'all need to be ready. For Saturday, because um, on Saturday, honey, we are going to do a live show. I'm going to start at 4 o'clock. I'm going to let everybody know. I'm going to start, no, in fact, I'm going to start at 4 o'clock, and I'm just going to keep going live. Because we're going to get on the grill, honey. We're going to grill. Yes, we're going to grill out Saturday, and I want y'all to see what's going on. Or, you know, if y'all don't want to see a live on Saturday, you know, I can just do a video on grilling. My first video. And then I'll do another review on the grill. And then next week, we're going to have a video on the salmon cakes. I'm going to be doing a video on the salmon cakes and, um... What else? Salmon cakes and I forgot. Yes, live. Okay. I'm gonna be doing the salmon cakes and um homemade biscuits. That's what's gonna be next week's videos. And then we're gonna do the gyro video, and then I'm looking at like some Indian recipes. I found an Indian cookbook in the library. Um, so those are going to be our ethnic dishes. And then we have to decide on the next cake. I heard I have on the board I have German chocolate. And then I have a caramel cake. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see. And I'm here for it. So my stir fry is really light. I chop all my vegetables, my snow peas have already been washed. Everything in this strainer has been washed.
You love homemade biscuits? Yeah, me too, honey. And basically, y'all mates, when I do stir fry, it's like whatever's in the refrigerator. Whatever veggie I have in the refrigerator is what I use. It's usually close to time for me to go to the store and I want to make sure I use all my veggies. So, that is what I do. Whatever's in there, it goes pretty much into the stir fry. Got me feeling like amigos. Thanks from the heart. Oh, thanks, honey. So the videos are going to be back rolling. I pretty much got a grasp on everything. And I'm feeling real good, y'all. I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real good, you know. And y'all, YouTube is a joke, you know, because I haven't, I was off for those like two weeks and I just really didn't post stuff on time. Y'all, my numbers are really, really bad. <laughs> I'm looking real bad. So y'all make sure y'all watch the videos. Make sure y'all thumbs up. <laughs> You know, if you ain't subscribed, I don't want you waiting on because I, what I'm seeing is about, um, I'm, I, I'm hitting my 10% mark on some videos and higher and then some videos are not doing that good. And I don't want to take the videos down, but in YouTube, when, um, they don't see a certain number, then it kind of like hurts, it hurts your channel. But I'm conflicted because I love all my videos and... It is what it is. Make sure y'all watching the videos, thumbs up and stuff like that, you know. It really does help. Because the YouTube machine is mad at me. It's like, girl, you ain't been posting? to go binge watch the videos but yeah i thank you guys for watching and i can tell some like sometimes the notifications for videos don't go out because i'll have people and they like i didn't even see this video and it'd be like two weeks later and i don't know why it does that but if you want to make sure that you're getting my videos you gotta subscribe and then you gotta click on the bell that tells you that notifies you you know whenever i'm on That's the only way. Because YouTube be on some is sometimes. And, and ain't nothing, there's nothing you can do. You know. But just kind of roll with it. But I feel like it said last month when I got my, um, my update for YouTube. It did say last month I only uploaded four times. Okay, um, it, I said I only uploaded 14 times last month, which for me, that's not a lot because sometimes I can put up four or five videos a week. So that was not a lot and YouTube is pretty pissed at me. Um, and it goes that way. Once you start like putting up a certain amount of videos, they, they expect it. Like, they will definitely penalize you. It's not like a penalized, like, oh, you get in trouble, but what happens is they, they won't um, push traffic towards your videos, and that's pretty much what they do. I'm just splitting these chicken breasts, and these are boneless, scandalous chicken breasts, and now I'm just going to slice them. But that's the way it goes, y'all, so. Um, I think sometimes they don't take into account, like, YouTube, I feel like what they started to do is that it's not for the faint of heart. So either you in it to win it or, you know, they going to show you why you got to be here. Like, and, you know, everything I do right now is tied to YouTube, y'all, so. 
gotta be here. But I don't mind it though. Like I will, I, I don't mind going live, but sometimes I'll be having stuff to do. And I actually plan out in advance when before I go live, like on what days I am gonna go live. So my chicken's already been cleaned and everything. The hubby is watching the wrestling. Get my measuring cup out for my rice. I'm gonna go ahead and heat my skillet up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil in the skillet, y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all over to the stove. My hubby's in bed. Yeah, he's watching the wrestling. We went for, I had to work out twice a day. So I went for my second workout and we decided to walk this thing called the aerosol track and i'm gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil um we walked the aerosol track today and it's about it's two miles around so it's a good little walk <laughs> and this is the kind of rice that i use on days that you know i can't have white carbs and this rice is really good. It has a really nutty, buttery flavor. And I use, I follow the recipe because I don't want mushy rice. But um, what I do is a cup of um, a cup of uncooked rice and then a cup and a half of water. So that just, you know, cuts down on waste. So I know exactly what I'm using. I usually do a little bit over two cups, over a half a cup. Cup and a half. You know what I'm saying? Because um, sometimes rice is real funny. And it can be real temperamental. So, just measure it out. So I'm not wasting any. Because um, I try not to have a lot of leftovers on days like this. Because really, the vegetables, you need to get them in your system. When they're still, like, really fresh. And, um... They lose all their nutrients anyway at that point. Choo -choo -choo. Now stay warm. And I just need to let that come to a boil. And then I'll stir it. And, you know, we'll be ready. So, usually what I do with my stir fry is um maybe I should switch eyes so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on. With my stir fry, what I usually do is um I season it while it's in the pan cooking. Uh, hey y'all, thumbs up! So give me a thumbs up, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Um and um I season it once I start cooking it. I really don't use a lot of seasoning like I'm just gonna be using herbs and onion powder and garlic powder it won't be any seasoning salt tonight so yeah and I have some soy sauce but, yeah. I was gonna use my wok but then I realized it would be a lot harder to see with the wok so that's why I decided to forego it but yeah As soon as that get hot, got my rice over here boiling. Oh, wrong eye. All right, and that's you know this skillet I got at Marshalls when I was living in Kansas, y'all. I paid ten dollars for it, and this is a Tuffler skillet, and it can go in the oven on top of the stove. It's it's the bomb, okay? It's the bomb.
And that was basil. And this is oregano. Mm -hmm. And a little onion, garlic powder. And a little onion powder. And that's it for the seasonings for now. I might put a little bit more in there when I um, start to cook the veggies. And on nights like this, y'all, I don't eat a lot of, we don't do a lot of protein. Um, and I need to add a little bit of salt to the water for the rice. And I mean like literally a little bit. And that smoothie video is going to be either up in the morning, right behind, or before the 6 o'clock video. So, yeah. Got to get to work. Got to get to work. And you just want to make sure your chicken is all the way done. And when you're doing a stir fry, you don't want a lot of water in the skillet. You want to, you know, that's why you got to have it nice and hot. And I know that chicken looks dumb, but the pieces are kind of thick, so you got to really just let it cook. Turn on medium and let it go. And in case you missed out, this is the rice I use. It's really healthy. It's really tasty. It has a really buttery taste. And like one third of a cup is 140 calories, which isn't bad for rice. Um, because we have to get tonight, we need to eat about 800 calories tonight. Because I didn't get a lot of calories today. I think it's 800 for my husband and like 750 for me. But then I have to cut. I have to take into account like my workout too. So I'm just got a question. Ooh. I have one, I have a question. Because this angle just makes me look really huge, y'all. Um, do you guys want to see more healthy meals? Like, I, I, I'm not giving up the fat girl status. You can go. It's coming. But, um, you like wild rice? Yeah, okay, so that's a better angle. I love wild rice. It has that nutty flavor. And that's what I really love about it. That real nutty taste. That nutty flavor just, just keeps me going. So, yeah. Now, I was cute this morning when I did my smoothie video. <laughs> but now, that second workout, <gasps> we can beat me up, honey. Okay? But yeah, let's turn it back on the chicken. Very crazy. And 
And um, next week, I'm going to do a video on what I ate today. Yeah, I'm losing. When your workout pants don't stay up on you, because, you know, they supposed to fit. Like, they, they getting big, y'all. I'm losing weight. It's hard to tell. The camera, when they say the camera adds 10 pounds, they not lying, y'all. It really does. Because, um, I ran, I ran into this. Look, I still got, like, that neck row. I got, like, one left. My back row, I'm down to one back row. But I ran into, like, um... A subscriber, and she was like, Oh my god, you look a lot smaller. And I was like, And I thought you were taller. People think that you're either taller, that you're taller, and you're usually bigger, but it's totally different. That's why I see why people like on TV they try to stay really lean as possible because it can add a couple pounds in your face. When people be seeing YouTubers, it's like, it's no way she wear a size 8 or she wear a size 9. No, they really be that small, y'all. It's just the camera makes you look bigger. It really does. It's so evil. It's so evil. Y'all see my two friends that popped up on my face? That came from all the junk I ate on Thursday. And then my body's trying to push it out. That rocks. So I like the chicken to get that nice little thing, little glaze on it, you know? Rice is getting there. Woo! Lots of things, honey. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Alright, we're going to go ahead and dump all our veggies in. And it's a lot of veggies, y'all. I use a lot of vegetables in the stir fry. It's the meat to veggie ratio is crazy. But you know, when you eat healthy, this is one of the sacrifices you make. <laughs> Y'all know I had steak on Sunday. I had that big hamburger on um Saturday. Um so like you know, I try not to eat a lot of meat. And um, yeah. Stir my rice. Almost done. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a little soy sauce. And that's another reason I don't add seasoning salt because the soy sauce is going to make it kind of salty anyway. So you really don't need a lot of soy sauce. I mean, you seasoning, other seasoning. So in here we have snow peas, yellow squash, zucchini, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, and onion, and cauliflower. You lose one, one becomes a casualty to the floor. A couple of them do. Let me get a something to get that up. Because I don't want to slip. And 
and you just keep tossing it so that the vegetables can, you know, cook evenly. Because you don't want them to burn or some of them to be too soft and some of them to be hard. Um, and the stir fry is not supposed to be soggy. It's supposed to be vibrant. It's supposed to still have a little bit of crunch to it. It's supposed to be really lively. How's it looking, y'all? It's actually really good. And you don't need a lot of chicken anyway with the mushrooms, you know. Rice is almost done. I didn't even see her. Oh, honey, you ain't too late. You good. Thanks, honey. Tell them again. Hit the likes and thumbs up. Oh, thank Harris. It, it's looking good. It's healthy, though. I ain't gonna lie. y'all so it's done and what I'm gonna do is move it off the heat so that it will stop cooking and now I'm just basically waiting on the rice to get done and once the rice gets done then you know we can plate it up I just have to wipe my stove down I can't stand all that stuff on the stove um once the rice gets done you know we'll be ready We'll be right, see. We gonna eat some vegetables. Okay. Let me grab some bows. beautiful y'all if you ever get a chance to go into ikea and physically see ikea you'll be sold for life so yeah these are the bowls and these are made in sweden hey so let me check the rice again Rice needs about three more minutes. And see, I cook, I measure my rice, I measure the amount of water and everything in my rice so that I don't have to be trying to chow. It's going down around here, y'all. And tomorrow I actually, um, I have an order for a cake that's local. So I'm gonna call, I'm going to send um, the young lady a message and confirm it at eight o'clock in the morning. And um, then I'm going to get to work on her cake. And I still got to work out. <laughs> and I have somebody's hair I'm doing. Um, no, I have to go to the hair store with somebody tomorrow. 
And then Thursday I have a breakfast that I have to be at at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I have somebody hair to do. And then I'm going to sew their hair in. Yes, I did. I bought it from the commissary. And you can find it in Publix, too. Yeah, I found it in um, the commissary. But you can find it at Publix. Kroger's. Um, we lived in Kansas. Kroger's had it. The commissary didn't have it, but Kroger's had it. What y'all got? But you can find it in the commissary, because I found it in the commissary. And Kroger's. Kroger's is a part of like what? Dylan's. We had Dylan's. Okay, I ain't never shopped in one of their stores. Dylan's and Kroger's are the sister stores, so I know Dylan's had it, not Kroger's. It was Dylan's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just letting the rest of the water cook off of it. Then we're going to plate it up, you know, and um, then I'm going to get on off here. But I did promise you guys, okay, I did promise you guys that I was going to show y'all how to do the stir fry this week. And then I did promise that I was going to do the smoothie video this week and they both done. I just have to edit the smoothie video. It ain't even like, I didn't even set up a lot of lights because it was in the morning. The light was so bright coming in out that window right there. But I had to actually get up in the window and put a towel up. I showed y'all what my belly looked like. You know, I was in the sports bra. I showed y'all all, all that was going on, honey. But y'all know I'm not ashamed of my body, honey. Um, but, yeah. So that video is going to go up tomorrow sometime, too. Or I might stagger, I might stagger the smoothie video to go up Thursday so you guys get a video Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we gonna be popping. Um, but yeah. So the rice is done. I need to let it sit for a minute. But what I am gonna do. Okay, so what I am gonna do is because I want to show y'all the grill. It's saying very bad connection. Can y'all see me still? Okay. I'm letting that rice sit for a second. I'm gonna take y'all in the in the garage. I don't know why my connection is bad. And show y'all the grill. So let me turn the camera around. So we got the big boy. How y'all like that? Oh, it's going down, honey. That thing sexy. Yes, honey. It's big. This is really sexy. Y'all know I like big grills. So, yeah. There she go. She ready. Uh-uh. She ready. It's going down. But that's it right there, y'all. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to do a video of me putting it together and give my first thoughts on it this week. And then Saturday, we gonna grill, honey. Yes, it is. Six <laughs> can't wait. See, I'm telling y'all, it's going down. And then I have to order my flat top grill, y'all. That's all my husband's stuff, y'all. And um, I pulled my car into the garage. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, be <laughs> it's going to go down. I'm gonna get y'all, gonna get y'all women's. As women folks, I'm going to get y'all ready to grill. I'm going to get y'all together. So when they be like, girl, you can't grill, you're going to be like, uh, what? Who are you talking to? <laughs> y'all must not know my homegirl, bam, got me all the way together. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm going to show y'all how to light a grill the proper way. Where you don't lose your damn eyelashes. <laughs> and I'm going to show y'all how to use charcoal because that's a charcoal grill honey she's a beast we got what we gonna name the grill y'all we got to give her a name you know 
We got to give we got to get that girl a name. She's a big girl. You know? What we gonna name her? You have to find your sleep cap. What we gonna name her? Yes, honey, I'm gonna have I'm gonna show y'all. Women do not be afraid of a charcoal grill. Okay, now my next grill I'm getting is gonna be a flat top grill, cast iron grill, like you know, where we can do like fajitas and stuff outside in the summertime. Cause y'all, I got this gas grill stove in my house, and let me tell you, <laughs> that bitch get hot in the summertime, even with the air on, she will smoke you the fuck up out of here. Okay, and I, I don't have time for that, so I like the grill in the summertime, but yes, honey, we're gonna set her up. I'm gonna get all cute for y'all. I'm gonna put I'm gonna set the camera up and then I'm gonna record myself putting this together, but you know I gotta speed the video up a little bit. Big <laughs> sexy. She said get out of my head. Yes, honey. So we oh y'all wanna name the grill Big Sexy. That's what we can name her. We can name her Big Sexy. Yeah, we gonna name her Big Sexy, y'all. Let me know if y'all think if Big Sexy is a good name for the grill. Because she is big and sexy. Okay. Big Sexy. Ooh. Big Sexy. Ooh. Then when we get the other one, we're going to figure out what we're going to name her. But we're going to name that one Big Sexy, honey. Ooh. All right. So, let's go ahead. The rice is done. As y'all can see, this rice is really fluffy. I mean, the name is Finny. This rice, see how fluffy it is? Like, I didn't overcook it. I didn't have to pour any water off of it. That's what it is. That's how rice should be cooked. And then, you know, us, us people of Asian descent and Asian people, we don't like our rice running anyway, you know? We get real snooty when it comes to our rice. I'll make it look pretty, you know? <laughs> A little bougie stir fry. And just give it a stir. And there she goes. Now you can have a lot more because it's just basically the vegetables. And that's about two cups of vegetables. So, y'all, I'm getting beeps in from Facebook about, I put a post on Facebook about my cakes. <laughs> and I've been getting, I've been getting dings all day. So this is it. I think I'm going to change the thumbnail on the video to this. What y'all think? So people can see. I'm going to change the thumbnail so people can see what it looks like. But yeah, this is it. Now I got to go, y'all. That looks amazing. Thanks, honey. Yeah, they are. It's the chicken and the rice. That, but other than that, it's fine. Um, cause really, if if you are caught in the calories, two cups of vegetables are no more than like a hundred. Yeah, but yeah, this is it, y'all. I'm going to go eat dinner with my husband tonight, and then I'm going to get my shower and um, edit the, the smoothie video, and um, yeah, that's going to be it. But I am going to change the thumbnail on the video, though, on this video. But yeah, there it is, y'all. I love y'all. It's going to go down this weekend with the grill, honey. See, I got dishes over there. I need to clean that shit up. You know, that's not the business, but I'm going to clean it up. And then, um, yeah, it's going down. It's, it's going down. You know, y'all, it's going down. It's really going down. I'm going to tell y'all how much it's going down. I got a whole turkey breast. Y'all think I'm playing? I got a whole turkey breast. Do y'all see that? Ready to roast turkey breast. She's going on Big Sexy on Saturday. So y'all be ready, okay? That turkey breast is going to get some love. And 
I got some chicken wings and I'm gonna get some ribs. It's going down. Well, no, no story time tonight. No story time tonight because I gotta spend some time with my husband and I gotta get ready for tomorrow and I gotta finish editing the smoothie video, y'all. But I love y'all and I'll see y'all back here in a couple days. Saturday, <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking and grilling, so we're gonna get plenty of story time. I promise. Because we're going to be on here for a while. So we're going to get plenty of story time. We're going to get some laughs. And I'm probably going to be a little tipsy. And, um, you know, it's going down. I'm going to show y'all how to grill. I'm going to teach y'all how to grill. But I love y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. The oatmeal raisin video will be up. So y'all stay tuned in. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. Share the videos. You can share the videos on Twitter. You can share them on Facebook. You can share them on Pinterest. I don't know if you can share them on. I love y'all too. I do love y'all. That's why I be trying to get on here with y'all. Because I really enjoy spending time with y'all. But just share the videos. Like, subscribe. And tell people about it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it y'all. Mm. See y'all later. I'm going to go because he hungry. His stomach probably talking to his spine.